Namaste and welcome. I am grateful that you are here today. My name is Neeraj and uh, I wanted to follow up on one of my predictions about education system uh, in terms of applied astrology that has, that has seemed to be getting disturbed in the charts and uh, it was again a prediction in 2023 Canada video I guess and then also in the three years predictions that I have done in advance including the economic crisis which is coming up in 2023. They have realized that uh, it's very easy to target kids at, a, at right from the bottom and obviously they'll be challenged with the education system in the sense that the kids will be um, prone to this all the apps that they see the social media apps and everything so they will be focusing more on the things which is not of their right age group for instance and then the global left have also decided that it is easier to brainwash somebody at right at the childhood than to let them grow up and become intelligent enough to counter their opinion later. Uh, there could be dramatic uh, shift in the global curriculum that we see in terms of what kids have been reading so far. Uh, the base is obviously illogical to me personally but again people have different opinion. Everything what we see and know today about science technology in this world is actually rigged. A lot of the philosophies around it was not like more than 6000 years or, or ago that world existed findings in technology, the maths and, uh, you know, philosophy, uh, architecture that we see, a lot of that has been taken out actually from the Vedas, from the, uh, I call it Indus Saraswati River Valley Civilization, which is popularly known as India today. And then they were not given the credit because of invasions of thousands of years. Since the base is rigged due to social media, you will see that the kids and the parents are more and more aware of all this. They will start questioning the whole education system to an extent that we can see a rise of homeschooling phenomenally. Uh, parents would be more happier when the kids are closer to them than to go to these schools which are going to teach them something else which is not even meant for them. That's not going to give them any good like high hopes in life, any motivation or to make them anything at all. It is actually to politically motivate them with certain agenda in a certain way. Uh, and most likely that like I have told in a previous video, this is the time where Rahu is in Bhadan Nakshatra and um, Ketu uh, Swati Nakshatra, which is again belonging to Rahu in terms of the ownership of the Nakshatra itself. So this is the time period when things will be exposed like anything. So even if the education system, the schools, colleges, basically wherever we have the challenge of the governments running the whole education system, this is more profoundly going to happen there, which is West if you see. Uh, developing world has some privatization but specifically in Canada it's totally controlled. So government can actually say what happens at the kindergarten level to a five-year-old. They are very specific and very controlling in that way. So uh, Bill C level in Canada for example is one more example where and they are trying to uh, monitor the social media or online content even moderate the whole content creation process itself which has been debated enough here but to be honest with you from what I'm seeing on YouTube and also on search engines, it is already in line with what government wants. YouTube has been running a campaign in Canada to tackle this and make people more aware about it that, you know, Bill C-11 is coming, it could interfere like this and not that. Uh, this ad which somebody is cooking might not be visible to you in your timeline today because somebody else is going to decide what matters to the country. So you will see more of authoritarian regimes growing up globally and this will be easily done wherever democracies are, democracies are present because uh, that will be obviously shown as a good thing to the public. So um, that also has an impact on what a child consumes when they open Instagram for instance, when they open TikTok which is supposedly being banned slowly as we see. Uh, so that those are things which are going to manipulate. So a parent trying to kid will not be even relevant because they will learn by observation on their own, which is always the case by the way. So, so that is why kids uh, become a fundamental target for all the uh, political agendas, if you will. So if they can be convinced at the bottom of the life cycle, which is childhood, they can automatically be brainwashed. And uh, it doesn't take really more than five, 10 years. Uh, so, but in the age of social media, the whole opinions could be changed uh, actually within years, less than five years I would say. And I'm I'm on the marketing side by profession as well, so it is really that easy. 
So there is good amount of funding that's going to come uh, in social media and all of that in education system. And what you see as a freebie in the education system, for example, uh, I will not name them like Tech Giants is free version of MS Office, free version of Google Slides, free version of XYZ and then teachers having logged into the systems and they have these apps and iPads and tablets and whatnot where kids like as young as five year old go and log in and then the homework is given and then there's an education license which is being sold to the, to the schools and the principals and this education system. Uh, that's not really the reality. The reality is they are going to measure the child right from the bottom of it. Now, and then through analytics and through AI and through technology, it is possible to segment people in groups uh, right from the uh, bottom of childhood. And when they grow up eventually, it is also possible to segregate them into political opinion. So we know that, for example, if six to eight page, let's say a hypothetical situation where six to eight age groups have this opinion and they have been through analytics, I know that their childhood, the homeworks, the assignment from the college or the school staff has been like this. So this child is more prone to go towards this or that or something else. And then that data could be actually used to manipulate as they want, which is already happening. It's nothing real. If you just, for instance, go to your Facebook feed, you get uh, the videos that you have liked, subscribed to, but you also get suggested for you. That is nothing but algorithm playing with your mind. So it will show you one side of you, like seven, eight videos, you are happier when you start spending more time. It will show you the other side of the coin, which is exact opposite view in between and see if you change your behavior. So they kind of re-emphasize, re-emphasize, and they are very clear that, okay, this is, so, so data never lies. That's how it, it works like mathematics. So two plus two is always four. So they kind of can easily decode that. So that is the importance when I say kids are going to be targets. So, uh, Parents, please be watchful, please be careful. Be aware that uh, we spending time with kids, uh, yes or no is optional, but their childhood and they not growing up is not optional. Uh, every moment, every second of their life is a memory which will reside with them forever. Even if tomorrow, 10 years down the line, they, when they grow up, whenever they grow up, they realize that my parents did not focus me enough. Uh, and then they did not love me enough or whatever they did not care for me enough and I was put into some apps or whatever which kind of destroyed my whole identity my thought process my likes dislike orientation whatever you may call it even the clothes that I wear uh, that will not be a good situation to face 10 years down the line for instance so uh, so like I said social media education system all the apps the freebies that goes through the task home assignments everything is going to affect and then homeschooling may increase and uh, if there is a shift in world order that we are seeing let's say a ukraine kind of situation unfortunately then automatically education systems come for a halt so these are some of the factors that may create trouble this is like really the fifth house of uh, of astrology uh, that that, I, that i'm talking about specifically and then when that gets disturbed the whole that getting disturbed is actually uh, with respect to the other things in life, this is like past life karmas that have been given by the God to us in terms of astrology. So let's say if fifth house gets disturbed, automatically their next generation, the progeny, the whole uh, capability to give rise to the next generation in exactly the similar way that have been given by the child's parents to them will be lost. So the, uh, it affects the genetics, the progeny, the ability to produce children, the reproduction and all of that. We are already seeing that in massive numbers in the Europe and the West. We are also seeing the consequence, the countries which are developing, which are kind of sending immigrants to these countries, the West, uh, as we call it, themselves are also going to be challenged because the, the media and the propagandas and all the left, whatever ideology sits in one part of the world. So they are right now, as we see, the kids are also being targeted in the developing world, the third world countries, as we call it, and more on those lines. So they are also trying to become slowly like the West. So, and then when that happens, let's say the whole world start mimicking West, including education, the curriculum and the kids, the apps, the tablets and everything, like I said, and they kind of play upon uh, the kids, uh, especially in democracy, right from the childhood to influence their opinion later, to make them believe in certain thing or align them into particular political ideology. What's going to happen is that the the whole immigration will also get impacted 
So when the progeny gets impacted, when genetics or ability to reproduce children or kids gets impacted, even the developing world will not be able to send in so much of human population to the developed world uh, to even survive here. So there'll be impact on businesses, everything that we see today on planet Earth. And I'm not exaggerating this fact. This is where the world is headed. So it's like an S-curve phenomena where whoever is developing will be developed 20, 20, 30 years down the line, for instance, because they have that sweet spot of cheap labor, everything that you see in terms of resources, availability and manpower, which comes uh, as a growth opportunity. But later on, once they become growth, grown enough, they, there's a fall down in S-curve. So it's like we call it a growth curve. So that is also going to fall down. And then that's where there'll be time where the whole world will suffer. Uh, obviously, people can do a lot of things to overcome this, like spending time with kids, knowing what is happening, knowing what is happening in school. Uh, you'll be surprised to know what is happening in kindergartens. So in terms of astrology, you will have to do exact opposite to overcome. And those, those are some of my two cents about by uh, what I mean by when global education, education system is going to be disturbed and then when that is disturbed of course the, the job market, uh, the employability and everything gets uh, affected accordingly. So I hope it helps and give you some sense of understanding about uh, why we see education as a challenge going forward in the global economies. Uh, thanks for watching. Namaste.